This next dish is called Kima Mutter or Mince Lamb and Peas and it's one of the oldest dishes I've learnt to cook. I'm totally self-taught, never been to college and I cook food like my mum and my grandma cook at home. And this is a dish that reminds me when I was about 15, 16 years of old, back in my village at home. My parents had been on a shopping trip, I got bored of the shopping trip and came home and there was nothing to eat so I literally saw my mum make this. So I went and got some lamb, I got some onions, things out of the pantry, put it all in a pot like my mum used to do and had a go and everybody got back from the shopping trip and my granddad actually said it was actually better than his mum's um, which was a nice compliment but it's the first dish I really mastered and every time I cook for my mum this is the one dish she always asks for because she says I make it better than her. It's really really easy I've got a pound of minced lamb in here you just put that in the bottom of the pan just spread that lamb out into the pan you don't have to use a non-stick pan but it helps if you if you've got a memory like me and you forget that it's on the stove, not a good confession for a chef, but it does happen. Put the onion on top. Try not to make it stick to the bottom because that that's the first thing that's going to catch. So put it on top of the, the lamb. And to that, I'm going to add a whole array of spices. I've got some black cardamoms, and these have got a really nice peppery taste and gives a beautiful aroma to the meat. Just crack them and put them on top. Try to remember how many you've put in because once the lamb's cooked, you want to take these out because you don't really want to bite into the husk, it's very, very bitter. On top of that, I've got about six to eight black cloves. I'm going to add some green cardamoms for a little bit of sweetness on top. I've got some ginger, which I'm just going to cut up. Leave the skin on, so I think the ginger's got a really nice flavour in the skin. I've got some garlic, which again, I've got six cloves of garlic there. You need to peel that and puree it down or crush it into a garlic crusher. To that, I'm going to add some ground coriander powder because this will release a little flavour. As the spices steam, they'll all infuse and impregnate the lamb. It gives you a lovely, lovely flavour. I've got some mace, which is basically nutmeg husk. And that gives a, a lovely, it's an aromatic taste and a flavour. I've got a little bit of salt, a little bit of coarse ground pepper. This is my twist mustard seeds and they give it a lovely crunchiness to the, to the meat. Once all that's done, you would literally leave that. You don't need any oil, no water, nothing, because all the onions release oil and some water and the meat will. And you literally pop that on the pan. And what you want to do is wait for a little bit of liquid to come out of the lamb. Once that's released, get your lid, pop it on and leave it on a fairly low heat to simmer for about 30 to 40 minutes. And you'll know when the dish is ready for the next stage, when the onions have literally broken down and turned into what I call hamburger onions. They're all soft and nice caramelised. Then it's ready for the next bit. So you can leave that, go and have a cup of tea and come back. After about 40 minutes, this is the kind of consistency that you need your dish out. So you take the lid off. You can see all the water's evaporated, all the onion is sweated down, it's dissolved. And it's a fairly dry dish now. So what I'm going to do is take off my cardamoms, so I don't need them, my ginger, and then you can actually start breaking up the mince. I wish you could smell this, it smells amazing. And you want to get this as dry as possible because the next stage we're going to make our sauce and we're going to use all the lovely flavour from the mince. To this I'm going to add some butter. Now, I've got about a third of a block, sounds a lot, but you've got a pound of mince in there and probably about another pound of onions that have dissolved. And all I'm going to use the butter for is to coat all the lamb. Any excess butter that I'm not going to be using to cook, I will spoon that off. And I suggest as you do that, as you go along, if you don't want the oil in there, once the butter's dissolved, tip your pan to one side and take the butter off if you're on a diet. As you can see, I'm always on a diet. <laughs> I've added very little salt so far. So I find adding salt to at any stage of making a curry, I always learn to leave it to the end. If you add salt now, you'll get the right taste. Then you'll add some more spices and the, and the taste of the salt will disappear. Then you'll add more salt to get the taste right. Whereas at the end, you can add it in one go and, you, and you're probably using less salt. So that's the butter has now melted into the lamb. And you want to just stir that through until you start seeing the, the butter coming out of the lamb. So at the minute, it's all been sucked up. So you'll need that butter to make your curry sauce, otherwise it'll be very dry. And to this I'm going to make the chilli paste now for my kima. A teaspoon of chilli, this is quite a hot dish. A little bit of turmeric, some cumin seeds, coriander and 
cinnamon powder mixed in equal amounts. Make that into a little paste, add a little bit of water and stir that in. And instantly you'll see the meat will take on that chilli powder colour. Keep adding water because as it evaporates, just keep adding and adding. A handful of tomatoes in there just to give it a bit of additional liquid. And once your tomatoes are in, lid on, 10 minutes, just let it simmer. Back to the quinoa. As you can see, tomatoes dissolve, the peppers are giving it a little bit of colour. Once that's done, get some peas. These are just frozen peas. Pop those in there, stir that in. You need some water so the mince is almost covered. And I'm going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes. Kima mutter's all done. All the tomatoes are all, the peppers are lovely and crisp. A good handful of coriander on top. Stir that in. Gives it a nice freshness. And then that's ready to serve, so off with the heat. As you can see, very little oil. Spoon that into there. There's enough here for two people. And that's served with some steamed rice, a bit of coriander. There you go, 28-year-old Kima Mutter. Hope you enjoy it.